What's up everyone, it's your boy Mastermind here for Ohio Cannabis Live. Today we're going to try to replace the atomizer on a Puffco Peak. Let's dive in. Another Mastermind hit! If you're new to my content, please make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and follow button right now. And if you're watching this on another channel or network besides YouTube, make sure you follow me on that social media network as well. So. I'm trying to replace the atomizer on my Puffco Peak. Um, after speaking with Puffco Peak support, um, they decided to send me a replacement atomizer, which I have here. Um, it took, you know, it was around holiday time, but it took about seven business days or so for me to receive this replacement atomizer. For those who don't know what the atomizer is, this is simply the, the main part it screws into your Puffco Peak. This is where you put your concentrate at. Um, this is the main component other than the unit itself and the glass. If this part doesn't work, you have a dead device. Um, so I'm very hopeful that uh, this little piece here is going to solve my problem. What is my problem? The problem is when I try to turn a unit on in any mode, in any temperature setting, it just shuts off and gives me kind of like a, a rainbow of colors um, this rainbow of colors is a sign of a connection error uh, between the base and the atomizer um, you know I'm showing you here this is a brand new atomizer that was sent to me from Puffco Peak support um, they do say that you have to pay for these they do go out and uh, this one was sent to me for free, but, you know, it's kind of disappointing that you have to pay for these atomizers and they're not going to last very long. So I'm not sure what the average time is for these. You can tell me that in the comments if you own one of these and had to pay and replace the atomizer. Um, but what we're going to do is unscrewing the old one here and we're just going to screw in the new one and hopefully it works. I mean, it's not rocket science, is it? It's just threaded. You just screw it in right it, it can't be that hard and uh, like I said you can certainly get more information on my website www.ohiocannabislive.com but I'm showing you there's nothing wrong with the threads here I'm giving you a nice little close-up so you can see that there's nothing down in there there's no oil residue or anything this device is very very lightly used um, so I'm very disappointed that there was already an issue uh, with the coil so you know, I'm screwing this in there. You know, everything feels right. Feels like it's threading properly. And I make sure it's secure. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it on see what happens. Now, everyone knows what should happen at this point if you own one of these devices. And you can already see what is happening. The device is already powered off. And it didn't even really attempt to heat at all. So, again, I'm going to unscrew this. Look at it. Check it. Make sure everything's looking okay, which it is. And I'm going to make sure that it's going to uh, thread in. So I'm turning it back on. And I'm still getting that message. Um, you know, message meaning this these particular uh, sequence of lights is, is a type of diagnostic for this device that says there's still a connection problem. And I'm trying to go through, you know, different modes and it still will just shut off. So at this point, I realize something's still not quite right. Um, and it's just shutting back off. So we're not making a whole lot of progress here. Um, but what I think I'm still going to need to do here is uh, still check the connection and make sure that the device is getting a good connection to the atom atomizer. Um, so, you know, what we're going to do at this point is we're going to, to unscrew this thing again because as you can see, I'm trying different ways to see. So let's unscrew this and see what happens here. You know, after I look at it, I'm going to try to turn it on without the atomizer on and see what it does. And it basically does the same thing. And then, you know, I can see down in there, it's not, it's, it's not connecting. We're not getting a good connection. This is the issue with these type of devices. 
and you really can't see how it's threading in there. Once you start threading in there, you really can't see if you're all the way threaded in or not. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to just make sure it's extra tight. I'm going to use a little extra strength and try again. And guess what's happening now? It looks like it's working. It didn't cut off with the rainbow. It's, I think it's working. You know what? Just as long as it stayed on in a long time, it might be working. I think it is working, everyone. Oh, it vibrated like it's supposed to. So I, I think this thing is now working. So before I leave you, I want you to tell me what you think about what's going on in the comments. Um, tell me if you have trouble with this device as far as it not connecting the way it should. And I want to know, how many atomizers have you bought for your device already? I'm going to try a different temperature, go through all the cycles here, and just do it again and just see exactly, you know, what's happening. And it seems to me like I can feel the heat on this coil. I can hear it sizzling a little bit. So it sounds like it's starting to work now. Um, yeah. So what I've learned here is that, you know, you have to make sure that the connection is tight with the atomizer in the base and you know definitely keep the device clean that's really important for this device that's all i've got for now make sure you hit, me, hit the like subscribe button and check out my website ohiochemistlive.com i'll see you next time peace another mastermind hit